And what's really amazing is if you, you want to see how it goes from these tablets into the into the Hollywood movies. So spaceships, like, what do you what? How much? How do you do? You, do you respect what Elon Musk is doing, um, trying to get to Mars and building in his SpaceX? What's your thoughts on Elon Musk? Elon Musk and what he's doing. Welcome everyone to my world. Wow, you have your own planet, Musk. No larger than your Earth's moon. Well, you know, Elon Musk. He's a pioneer. Um, he obviously knows that this uh, an ancient civilization on Mars, which I will show on the thirty first in my workshop, I'm gonna take everyone to Mars with me live and we're gonna look around on Mars and we're gonna see what exactly what Elon Musk already knows is that there was an ancient civilization up there. He can't talk about it because he has a gag order. The reason why- Gemma never told me there was an ancient civilization here. She never saw it. We're still in the no-fly zone. The reason why he's going to Mars on a one way trip, people don't notice. Look it up. Elon Musk, the billionaire, the richest man in the world now, is going to Mars on a one way trip. He's not coming back. And he's taking 80,000 people with him. And then he's going to come back. Well, his mission is going to overall take, I think, a little over 1 million people. These are all rich people, wealthy people who have butlers and maids and yachts and G5 jet private jets and Bentleys and Rolls Royces. And just think for a minute. Do you think these people are going to go to Mars on a one way trip and live in a tin can until they die? Hmm. Not going to happen. There's an entire infrastructure up there. They're going to go up there and live like kings and queens. The print is considered quite fashionable in the capital. May I present the Lady Basha? Quite literally, from the deposit of limestone under the surface, the crushed skeletons of marine creatures dead a billion years. And you've been well. We fared well, considering the remote location. Well, we've been eagerly awaiting your arrival. In, in the new Elysium, which, by the way, is the loca is the name of the area. <laughs> It was a rather fun pursuit constructing your alias. No longer are you Leopold Fitz, but instead Bosch Talk, a vile space marauder of unlimited wealth. That's the name of the area? That's the name of the area on Mars. That's it is. Elysium. Elysium. Yeah. You saw that movie? <laughs> wow. There's a movie Elysium where they had built this um, breakaway civilization above Earth. Welcome, everyone, to my world. Wow. You have your own planet? Mod. No larger than your Earth's moon. Humility. I like it. I, too, am extraordinarily humble. I'm what's called a celestial sweetheart. A celestial like a god? Hmm. Small G's. And only the elites of the elites had access to it. You know, mm. life, life, life spans were extended, disease eradicated and everything else. Mm. Wow, okay. Yeah, it's all based on the ancient text. And I'll be talking about that extensively uh, on, on uh, Sunday as well, on, on the 31st.